In part 2 of this guide, I will show you how to add users to a room you have created. It is important you do this when you set the room up, otherwise the people you wish to use it will not be able to. So I'll enter my test room, which earlier we created, and I'm just going to drop down this little box and I'll find the test room. There it is. And we go into our test room. Now, on the left hand side, we can see our current tool package. The one that I'm going to be using today to add new members is obviously this members tool, hence the name. If I click the members tool, and if I go over to the right hand side, there's a little edit option here, and this is where we get to add users and change their access rights. So I'm going to click that. And as you can see in this window here, it gives me a list of the current members of the room and it also tells me their access rights just here. So if I want to add a member to the room, I have to search for them. Now if it's just a single user, I can type their name in the search bar, like so. Okay, so I put the search in and I've clicked enter and I get a whole list of people with the surname Harris. So the one I want is the big man, which is here, and I'm putting a little check bar next to his name. Now, below that you've got a little box that says access. Now this is really important. There are four types of access. The first one is read access. This means people can access the room and read what is in it. They cannot do anything else in it. You've got another one here which is write access. Again, they're able to access and read everything in the room, but they're also to write, for example, add things to forums or tests. The next one is delete. It means that you can read and write in the room and also delete any files or comments, etc. And the last one is owner. Now this is full access, which means you've got complete control of the room and you can do all the things that we're discussing, adding users, taking them off, adding tools, getting rid of them. Okay, so the one that I'm going to select for Mr. Harris is owner, so it will give him full rights to the room. And I click add on the next side. And he is now a new member of my room and you can see him listed in the top members box. If you wanted to select a whole group, you can also do that as well. So if I click the drop down box and I select more and search, then what you can see is a whole list of everyone's names, students, staff, everyone. Okay? Now, as a quicker way of doing it, if I just drop down this box, you can see the staff and the key stage groups we have in our school. Okay, and if I scroll down even further, I can see the teachers, I can see the actual classes as well. So if I wanted to add a whole group, okay, so for example, if it was my class, I would select select 6P and I would select search and we should have a list of all the students which are in 6p and you can see all of those there okay and if I wanted to add them then I would put a little check box in 6p and the rights that I would actually give to the student is just right access and you can see that in brackets it says student okay which means again they can go into the room they can read everything that's there and they can write and add to forums and tests and things but they can't delete anything okay so I'd select that and then I'd go over to the other side and click add. Now for this purpose I'm not going to do that. Okay, so that's the way we set up members of the room. So when a user logs in and clicks the drop down box at the top and selects display all rooms, they should now see the new room that they have access to. Okay, thanks for watching and look out for the next installment.